Hi guys and welcome to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. Today we're gonna build a budget mining rig with a 1080 and an open frame style rig. We're gonna try to use the lowest cost items and see if we can increase our profits and our return on investment. I'll show you guys how I assemble each part and how much it costs to build one. I'm very happy I got a 1080 and I wanna thank PayPal for sponsoring this video. Check out their ICO. They're gonna show you financial information on companies to know if it's worth investing on or not. It's pretty awesome. Check out PayPal.com. Now let's go ahead and start with assembling the open frame. I also have a platform where I can install the motherboard so that way I don't need a computer at all. Let's check it out. Okay, here's all the parts we need for this build. Here is the frame right here. It can support up to six graphics card. We're gonna use one GTX 1080, 600 watt EVGA power supply. We have a four gigabyte DDR4 RAM. Here is a hard drive right there. You can use whatever hard drive you have, or you can buy a really cheap one just for, just for the build. We have the Pentium CPU, very basic, but works with the new generation motherboards. And here's a new motherboard that supports the six and seven generation CPUs, like the i7 and all that. But I got the lowest price CPU right here. You're also gonna need a hex driver and a screwdriver, and that's it. Okay, here's the rig. We're gonna start assembling it. Here's the front piece, as you can see. This is where the GPUs will stand. But first, we have to install the the legs okay so the way this works is there's a four by six screws if you can see right here and they kind of slide into the frame this nut right here screws in it goes in just like that and that's how you can adjust it so once we have this in we're gonna take the frame and align it we're gonna take the screw and lock it in this is all adjustable and I'll probably need to adjust it too depending on the GPU you're gonna use Slide the nut in. Align it with the frame. Screw it in. So now we're gonna put the back piece. So same concept. As you can see here, the screw goes right here. And then the nut goes into the frame. That's one side. Match it, boom, very easy. Now we're gonna unbox the GTX 1080. And here is the 1080. Finally, I have one. I'm gonna take off all the little covers to let it breathe. Now with a small Allen key, I'm gonna release the screws for the GPUs so I can adjust it. Now I can take the 1080 and put it anywhere I want. I'm gonna put it in the middle this time. We can use a smaller screw to lock it in, included. And that's it. So, now that it's in, we're gonna have to assemble the motherboard to be able to power up this little baby. Now we're gonna unbox the motherboard. Be very careful. We're gonna check where our holes are so I can install the razors at the correct spots. So I found the way it's installed and I have holes here for the motherboard. I'm gonna go ahead and install the razors. Double checking. So far so good. Now that all the razors are installed, I can go ahead and install the motherboard. So 
So the motherboard is all installed. We're gonna install the hard drive with the same screws that we use for the motherboard on those two right here. Now that we have the hard drive and the motherboard, we're gonna go ahead and install the RAM and the CPU. And now for the CPU. And now we're gonna install the fan. Heatsink already in the fan come from the manufacturer. And then we're gonna connect the CPU fan. Now we're gonna run the SATA cable that came with the motherboard to the hard drive. Now that it's done, the next step is to use the power supply, plug the main power for the motherboard, the power for the CPU, the power for the hard drive, and of course to power up the 1080. Now the power supply doesn't stay anywhere, it doesn't have any screws or anything. So it's just gonna stand right here. Now we're gonna install the motherboard power cable. Next, we're gonna power up the hard drive. And finally, we're gonna install the power to the 1080. And this cable basically give you access to start and restart the computer and also give you the LEDs for the hard drive and for the power. You have to check the instructions of your motherboard. Each one has a different type of diagram on how to install it. So you have to install the right pens in the right location on the motherboard to actually be able to start this computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out the, the manual and come back and install it the correct way. I don't know if you can see that, but I can actually read the little labels on the motherboard and uh, I can see that the hard drive um, LED goes right here, the plus right here. And then we have the power LED. Then we have the power switch. And the reset switch. You can use hot glue to glue it in. Um, I'm gonna leave it loose for now because I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it, but you can put it anywhere you want. Now I'm gonna install the Razer for the GPU with the PCIe adapter with the USB connection. We're gonna connect that to the motherboard. It also needs power which we have an adapter for it. So this adapter will go to the power supply. Now we're gonna unlock it. Now we're gonna connect it to the PCI Express. And don't forget to power up the Razer. Okay guys, I know it looks like a mess, but I have the HDMI connected, power connected. I even powered up the CPU. So everything is connected right now with the power. We're gonna try the first time to turn it on. So here's the first time it turns on. Seems like everything is on. And now I'm gonna go to the screen and see if we get any signal from the screen and see if we can start mining. And it's alive. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at this. First try. If you really wanna save some money, you can also buy one of those cheap PC cases and then install only one video card in there. But the solution with the open case GPU rig is that you can do six different GPUs, not only one. 
So, you know, if you're really on a budget, this will save you some money because it's 30 bucks. Uh, but you can only mine one video card and you can expand it for the future. Okay guys, the computer is ready to go. I did install driver booster and I did install Specky to see all the statistics. Here is Specky right here. You can see the G4400 Intel Pentium CPU. You can see the GPU is installed as well. It does take a few restarts and f switching out the HDMI between the motherboard and the GPU for the 1080 to recognize but now that it's recognized we can go ahead and mine on it no problem the first step is to go to nicehash.com and click on download after that click on nvidia download and finish installing the nicehash2 software now that nicehash is installed don't forget to add your wallet address that's your bitcoin address that's where you're gonna get paid they pay about when you get 70 dollars so it might take a while and click continue from here it will do all the job it will make sure it mines on the correct software it will make sure it mined on the correct algorithm and give you the most amount of profits let's wait a little bit and see what's the best profits we can get from this setup so we waited about 20 minutes and it's jumping between a dollar eighty to a dollar sixty per day it's about fifty fifty five dollars a month that's how much we're gonna make from this rig the 1080 and the four 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 zero zero pentium now here's a list of everything i purchased What's not included is the rig that I found on eBay. It's about 120, 130 bucks, I think. And uh, everything cost me about 785 plus the rig. It's about, I would say, 900 something. So if we make about $55 a month, we can pay that off pretty quick, especially the video card itself. Uh, video card costs 510. So within 10 months, you get back your graphics card already. That's pretty cool. Um, it does take time to make profit. Also, don't forget to calculate your electricity. This rig takes about 150 watts, 180 watts. And then if you change the settings, it might be even lower. It depends on what you're looking forward to do. Now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And you can also click the notification. So every time I have a new video, you'll receive one. Don't forget to comment below also, because sometimes I do giveaways. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, let me know. I would love to answer and help you guys out. And see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.